Hey BJ Soulmates, welcome to BJ Patterns. I am Grace and in today's video I'll be showing you how I recreated or created this beautiful twirly bow open back summer dress. I used my bell open back dress sewing pattern to create it so if you're interested the link is in the description box for you to check out and I just did a few things differently this time around and it's been about a year since I created this so I was like why not recreate make something like this again so these are the materials you've been needing for this project right here so let's just jump right into the video. So starting off with the front bodies, you're going to pretty much um, place your pattern on the wrong side of the bodies and just open up the dart areas for both the side dart and the waist dart and just trace it. You could either trace it or you could just measure the um, distance from the dart point to the side seam or waistline and just mark it directly on your bodies. And after doing that, you repeat the same step for your lining as well, and you just pin it down, then sew it. So after pinning everything down, this is what it should look like. Then you just go ahead to sew the side darts and the waist darts. So I usually like to start from the side seam or the waistline and sew all the way to the dart point. So now we're going to sew the back bodice. So for the back bodice, I'm doing something a little bit different from what I did the last time. Um, for the back bodice, I'm only going to be cutting out two pieces rather than four pieces. And I'm just going to hem the edges using a rolled hem. And the reason why I'm doing that for this is because I'm using a satin fabric and this particular one was quite thick so I felt like um, having two sewn together would feel so heavy and bulky and I didn't want that so this is something you could do if you decide to do this to use this pattern and you don't want to have to cut out four pieces of the back bodice. So now that you've sewn the back bodies and the front um, bodies that you just pin the back bodies to the front bodies having the right side facing each other and once you're done pinning one side you go ahead to pin the other side of the back bodies to the front bodies. So after pinning it, the next step is to pretty much just fold the edges or the ends of the back bodies to the center of the front bodies. Just pin it down to prevent it from moving around when you sew. Then go ahead to place your lining on top so you have the right side of your lining facing the right side of the front bodies. And just pin the sides and the top in place. Make sure you are pinning away the back body so you don't end up sewing it accidentally. Okay, so after I was done pinning it, I went ahead to sew. So you're going to sew the sides and the top part using a half an inch seam allowance. And you're going to sew the armhole using a quarter of an inch right here. You're going to sew that using a quarter of an inch, but the rest will be sewn using a half an inch seam allowance. So after doing that, you're just going to clip the edges, especially the curved areas of the body. So that is pretty much the top and um, the armhole and just turn it right sides out like so. After turning it right sides out, this is what you should have and you go ahead to just iron it flat. 
before you you know do them so I've earned it and this is what it looks like so the next step is what we're about to do so you're going to gather the top part or the waistline of the front skirt panel but also make sure you mark the center so that you don't end up um, you know mixing it up um, in the gathers so I'm going to um, create two gather stitches I did this recently and I am absolutely in love with it the gathering is so much better than what it would look like if I did like a one gathered stitch so now for the back bodies we're going to create the elastic band casing and you're going to fold it first using a quarter of an inch seam allowance or a half an inch seam allowance depending on your preference then fold it again um, to create your elastic band casing and you're just going to sew from one end to the other end So I also went ahead to just insert the elastic band off camera. So when you see that, when you see that it already has an elastic band inside, don't get confused, okay? So now we're going to attach the front skirt panel to the bodice, and I'm just going to pin the center of the skirt panel to the center of the front bodice, having right sides facing each other. I'm just going to start gathering. Um, the skirt panel to the waist measurement but when you're doing this make sure you leave about half an inch on both sides of the skirt panel um, on gathered um, because that's where you're going to sew your back um, skirt panel piece to okay okay so now we're going to attach the skirt panel piece to the um, skirt panel pieces together so i'm going to place the right sides of the front and the back skirt panel pieces together remember the half an inch space we created so this is where you need it and you're just going to pin it down or just you can as you can do what i'm doing which is just sewing directly so this pattern actually comes with a side pocket and i and i did cut it out but i forgot to sew it and i was too lazy to just go back and um seam rip and start sewing so i just left it like as is so this dress right here doesn't have a side pocket so now for the sleeves i'm going to go ahead to um um create the notches um for the elastic band casing all right so i'm just using the pattern paper as my template to know where i need to place that so after doing that you're just going to fold it having the notches um aligned and you're just going to pin it on one edge and pin it on the other edge as well so usually i would recommend you iron it after pinning it but because i'm using an organza and never had like a bad experience sewing with um ironing an organza i'm going to skip that step um, step for this particular project but if you are using a fabric that is iron friendly then i would recommend you iron you iron it down first but if you aren't like me you could just sew it as is and i'm sewing it using a quick a three quarter of an inch seam allowance so after doing that you're going to push that excess fabric towards the hem of the sleeve then you're going to just sew it down to create your elastic band casing so now for the top part we're going to create an elastic band casing there but prior to me doing that i decided to create a stay stitch at the top first before folding it to create my elastic band casing and the reason why i created the stay stitch is because the, i didn't want the organza fraying on me um so yeah So now for the hem, we're going to create a rolled hem and I'm using this rolled hem presser foot. I believe that's what it's called. I'm just using that to make my work easier.
So I also went ahead to insert the elastic band case into the sleeves and that's both the top and the bottom and I'm just going to stitch that down to the um, fabric um, before doing the next step. So after doing that you're just going to fold the sleeves having right sides facing each other and you're going to sew from top to bottom using a half an inch seam allowance. So now for this part, you're just going to pin the um, sleeves to the armhole of the bodies having right sides facing each other and just going to sew like it's that simple. So now we're going to attach this second tier skirt panel to the top and I initially wanted to just skip this part but after trying on the dress it was way too short for me to skip because the dress isn't actually a very long dress you know it's just a few inches above the knee and I just couldn't skip that step so I had to attach the second tier panel to the first tier panel hem the bottom of the skirt, skirt and the dress was pretty much done and this is the final result I absolutely loved it because I wanted to make one in a black color for the longest time since I released this pattern I just never got around to doing it until recently so this is the final result so thank you so much for watching let me know what you think about this video in the comment section and if you're interested in getting the pattern the link is going to be in the description box for you to check out and I'll see you all in the next video bye